In the depths of Eastern State Penitentiary, inmate 1227's cries echoed, driven mad by solitude. His chilling demise is just one tale of horror among the seven most haunted places where spirits roam. Number one, Eastern State Penitentiary, Pennsylvania, USA, a prison of despair. Deep within the heart of Pennsylvania lies the foreboding Eastern State Penitentiary, a place where the very walls seem to whisper tales of anguish and despair. Built in 1829, this penitentiary was meant to reform criminals through solitary confinement. But what they didn't realize was that they were birthing madness in those stone cells. Legends speak of inmate 1227, known only as Pep, a man whose screams echoed through the corridors like a lost soul searching for solace. They say Pep was driven to madness by the isolation, his mind slipping away until one stormy night, the world fell silent. Guards found him the next morning, his eyes wide with terror. His lips still mouthing words of a shadowy figure promising release. Some say that figure still lingers in those dark corners, waiting for the next unfortunate soul to succumb to the penitentiary's curse. Visitors brave enough to enter these haunted halls have reported cold spots, unexplained whispers, and the overwhelming feeling of being watched. Perhaps Pep's tortured spirit still roams, warning others of the fate that awaits those who dare to tread where darkness dwells. Number two, Chateau de Brissac, Maine-et-Loire, France, the Lady in Green. In the misty hills of Maine-et-Loire, France, stands the majestic Chateau de Brissac, a place of beauty marred by a tragic tale. Centuries ago, the castle witnessed a love affair gone horribly wrong. Jacques de Brézé, a man of power and pride, discovered his wife Charlotte in a lover's embrace. What followed was a scene of betrayal and bloodshed, as Jacques' fury knew no bounds. They say Charlotte's spirit, the lady in green, still walks these ancient halls, her ghostly form a reminder of love's bitter end. One chilling night, a guest staying in the castle awoke to the sight of a figure at the foot of their bed. Clad in a gown stained with the hues of fresh blood, the lady in green wept silent tears of sorrow. In an instant, she vanished, leaving behind a lingering chill that no warmth could dispel. Those who have wandered the castle's corridors speak of strange noises, spectral apparitions, and an overwhelming sense of tragedy that permeates the very stones. The lady in green story is etched into the castle's history, a warning to those who dare to meddle with love's delicate dance. Three. Povelia Island, Venice, Italy, the island of tormented souls. Off the coast of Venice lies a place shrouded in darkness, where the cries of the afflicted still echo on the wind. Povelia Island, once a quarantine station during the bubonic plague, became a pit of despair as thousands were left to die alone, their souls never finding peace. But the island's horrors didn't end there. In the 1920s, a mental asylum was erected on its cursed soil, a place of suffering and madness. Doctor Who presided over the asylum, was rumored to conduct heinous experiments on the patients, their agonized screams blending with the howling winds. One tale that sends shivers down the spine involves a nurse driven to madness by the whispers of tormented souls. They say she climbed the asylum's bell tower one moonless night and with a final cry of despair, threw herself into the abyss below. Visitors brave enough to step foot on Poveglia still report feeling an overwhelming sense of dread, as if the very air is tainted with the sorrow of those who never found rest. At number four, we have the Tower of London, England, the haunting of Anne Boleyn. London's tower, with its ancient stones steeped in history, holds secrets darker than the depths of the Thames. Among its shadows lurks the ghost of Anne Boleyn, the ill-fated queen whose tragic end still haunts these hallowed halls. Anne, accused of treason and adultery, was imprisoned within the tower's cold embrace before her execution in 1536. It's said that her spirit, a spectre of sorrow and injustice, wanders near the spot where she met her grisly fate. Guards patrolling the tower's battlements have reported seeing a figure in white her ethereal form, weeping silent tears for a life cut short. One moonlit night, a visitor to the tower found themselves frozen in terror, as Anne's ghostly apparition materialized before them. 
Clad in the attire of a Tudor queen, her eyes bore the weight of centuries of sorrow. The visitor could almost hear her whispered pleas for mercy on that chilling breeze. Fifiya, Aokigahara Forest, Yamanashi Prefecture, Japan, the Suicide Forest. Deep within the shadow of Mount Fuji lies Aokigahara Forest, a place where the trees stand as silent witnesses to the darkest depths of the human soul. Known as the Suicide Forest, this eerie expanse of woodland has drawn lost souls seeking an end to their suffering. Legend speaks of a young man who ventured into the forest with a heavy heart, his mind set on finding peace in death. But as the hours passed and the forest's oppressive silence closed in around him, his resolve wavered. Desperate to live, he searched for a way out. But the forest's labyrinthine paths twisted and turned, leading him deeper into its heart. It was years later that his body was found, hanging from a tree like a macabre ornament, a grim reminder of the forest's sinister allure, where the line between this world and the next grows thin. Those who brave the forest's depth speak of an oppressive atmosphere, where the very air feels heavy with the weight of lost souls. Number 6. Monte Cristo, Homestead, New South Wales, Australia. The Haunting of the Crawleys. In the sunburnt lands of New South Wales, Australia, stands Monte Cristo Homestead, a place where the veil between the living and the dead is thin. The Crawley family, once the proud owners of this grand estate, found their lives entwined with tragedy and despair. It was in 1861 that a maid, her heart heavy with secrets, fell to her death from a balcony. Some say her ghost still roams the halls, her spectral form appearing to unsuspecting guests in the dead of night. Mrs. Crawley, grief-stricken by the loss of her son Harold, retreated into the shadows of the homestead, her spirit forever bound to its darkened rooms. Visitors to Monte Cristo speak of chilling encounters, from phantom footsteps echoing on the stairs to the feeling of icy fingers brushing against their skin. One harrowing tale tells of a visitor who, in the dead of night felt a cold hand grip theirs in a vice-like hold. No mortal was there, yet the presence of the Crawleys lingers like a haunting melody. And finally, number seven, Bangar Fort, Rajasthan, India. The curse of Princess Ratnavati. In the ancient land of Rajasthan, India, lies Bangar Fort, a place where the shadows dance with the whispers of a cursed past. Legend speaks of Princess Ratnavati, a woman of unparalleled beauty, whose fate was entwined with a sorcerer's dark desires. The sorcerer, consumed by lust and jealousy, sought to win the princess's heart with a love potion, but Ratnavati, wise to his deceit, thwarted his plans, causing a boulder to crush him. Before drawing his final breath, the sorcerer cursed the fort with death and destruction, a malevolent echo that reverberates through the centuries. Those who dare to enter Bangar Fort speak of an overwhelming sense of unease, as if the very stones themselves are cursed. Locals whisper of roofs that crumble in the fort's vicinity, a testament to the sorcerer's wrath. One chilling tale tells of a group of tourists who, ignoring the warnings, ventured into the fort's ancient halls. Days later, they were found in a state of catatonia, their minds shattered by the curse that still lingers in the air. If you enjoyed this video, click the video on the screen right now and take a look. And as always, thanks for watching.